First things first, it comes in a big Tom Tom box. Well branded and looks very good. Full size box and as well padded on the inside as well. But that's not what we're here to see. Okay, so here's the main box. This part we've seen is a lovely little card here from Tom Tom. Thank you. Inside it has a lovely embossed logo on the front here, Tom Tom Go Premium X Limited Edition, and it has this is all embossed, lovely texture on the outside. Quite a heavy thing. It's magnetized on the bottom, as you can see there. I'm flipping it open. When you open it up, then inside we have uh, this kind of um, crap paper over the top, which has bubble wrap under that. When you take it off, you're presented with what's actually in the box. Everything in here is gold colour, as you can see, it's very similar to the outside logo on the box as well. It gives that sort of same shape. This shape in here is the same sort of shape as this thing in here and the actual sat nav itself. Oh, I'll see that. There's a carrying case, which is very nice. Leather bound on the outside here, hard on the back, uh, and it zips open inside as well. Nicely textured, grippy texture on the inside, which is cool. Okay, so that goes, obviously these things go down here that you put it in so you can flip them out as you want. Over here I have the 12 volt converter to two USB sockets. Quite nice, well weighted, that's quite nice actually. Then there's a charging cable, which is just a standard data cable, mini USB. Then I have the connector for the windscreen, which is a sucker pad on this side, and then you have these gold connections on the inside here as well. And then the actual device itself, which if I pull this little tab here, very satisfactorily, the device comes up in my hand and it's all very nicely coated. Also in the box is an instruction manual and a cleaning cloth and alcohol prep pad. Alcohol prep pad, of course, for your windscreen to make sure you get a clean patch and good contact. You want to permanently put the sat nav on the screen. And then you have the Go Premium uh, manual, which is nice and short. Looks nice and short. Lots of words in it, mostly a pictorial setup. So it's really straightforward to tell you how to get where you want to go and what you want to do. I would imagine I don't need this. This is usually where that. I probably don't need these either. Uh, most of this would be the kit that I'm actually after. Now, it is time to set it up and get a proper test of this Go Premium. I have to say that box is incredibly well finished and very well. Feels like a premium product immediately before you even open the box. So let's set it up in the car and see what it looks like. And of course it does this beautiful, hold on, here we go, here we go. Oh my God, that was satisfactory. Oh, there's one in the back as well, hold on. Hold on, there's one in the back, oh yes. Okay, oh, that was really good. I really enjoyed that. So on the back here, there's a power button at the top and then there's fixation device things here at the bottom and then a thing that actually clicks into this, so this all marries up here. That's magnetized as well, that's really good. That just, look at that. That's so solid when it's on, wow. Whoa. That goes on really well, I like that. That's very good, I'm sure to get it off. There you are. Uh, there's actually a sticky thing in the bottom of this as well. That's, that's just, oh, that's so good, so good. Anyway, right, let's turn it over and start it up. Right, greeting screen from Tom Tom, of course, comes up straight away. Don't know how much battery it is. That made a little tune. Hold on, do that again. Oh no, I don't think he's going to let me turn it off now in the middle of this. Hey, anyway, see there's a progress bar at the bottom here, not going across. And it says Go Premium X. And the progress bar seems to be going rather quickly, that's good. Doing this in real time, I've never turned this on before, so I don't know what I'm going to be greeted with next. Okay, so choose the language now has appeared on the screen. So I'm going to scroll down, because uh, I'm speaking English. And we have English United States, English United Kingdom. English Ireland, look, it's right there. English Ireland, very good. Next, loading maps. So we have choose a country, Ireland, that's good, that's chosen. Then we go next. And then we have, of course, terms and conditions. You should, for your safety, read through the terms and conditions if you want to, uh, which is about all, all the stuff that could happen to you if you don't pay attention. I agree to that, that's fine. Use my location and the information I enter to receive and help improve TomTom -tom traffic and other services. Yeah, I suppose I can. Collect the story information about your routes and your guides, uh, to, to put that, yeah, whatever you want to do. Help us improve our products with our information. We go and use our information. Over. Okay, so we're just going to share all my information. That's fine. Use Wi Fi to get the latest software, maps, and other useful updates for your TomTom Go Premium X. No computer needed. Right. 
let's set up Wi-Fi and I'll come back to it in a second okay okay so I've set up my TomTom -tom with my uh, account details and everything else that I need to put into it which is just setting up a TomTom -tom account so I can get updates and I can uh, save my destinations and things as well but in the menus here See the search at home, recent destinations, current route, I'm not on one obviously, my places, things I want to save myself. Then I can go my routes if I want, record route, voice control. Now record route's actually something been around for TomTom -tom for a while. What you can actually do is record new roads. So if a road doesn't exist in any mapping system, like an off-road route, you just click record route and drive that route and uh, it will record that as a road for you. Uh, voice control, parking, petrol station, trip statistics, settings, and so on. So settings, in here I see update new items. Wi-Fi, I can Bluetooth onto my phone, appearance, and then you can change the appearance. Map sounds and warning, voice control, my drive, all that sort of stuff is all in there. Massively useful. Software updates, there is some software. So speed cameras in here as well, 8.21 megabytes. Map shares in there as well, and this is software updates. So I'm just going to update now, let that happen. Uh, oh, connect to power, keep your voice connected to it. A power source during this task, tap OK to continue. We'll tap OK anyway, and we'll let it happen because uh, I can get a power source. Um, I have to say, the update process has been really straightforward since I've connected it to Wi Fi and done all that sort of thing. The update process has been really straightforward. No kind of complex systems to go through, nothing else. Give it the Wi Fi password, set up my account, which just took a username and a password or email address and a password, and it was done. And then it's just doing the rest itself, it's just doing the updates. And again, the update was not forced. I could have just used the software as it was in the box without doing anything else to it. So now we're just at 99%, just wait for it to get to 100. Okay, so that's what it looks like installed on the front windscreen. If I take it off, it literally just clips away very quickly. This is a twist suction cup. So if I twist that, it comes off. And if I stick it on again and just twist it, it goes back into position and it's very solid fit, uh, very easy, easy to fit there, simple, put it on. And then the sat nav itself works with a magnetic clip on the back, so when I just do that, it just sits straight into the position. And once it gets power, it comes on immediately. A couple of other features when you're setting a sat nav, as you can see, I'm in Port Leash right here uh, and it has uh, areas marked out in the map already. So when I go menu, I can go straight to home if I told it where the home is. Uh, I can go to recent destination, which is other destinations I've already done. Uh, and I can go to my routes, record route, voice control, parking, petrol station, just general ones, report speed, cameras, tri trip statistics, statistics, very hard to say. Uh, um, or you just go search. So when you go search, CO, so something like Tesco, which showed me straight away the local Tesco here in Port Leash, but it also searches online. So if I get rid of the keyboard out of here it'll show me all the Tesco's so the next Tesco's that was United Kingdom and United Kingdom again but other Tesco's that are close ro closer to me here is one here in James Fitt the Lawler which is right up town Church Road uh, then another one Church Road for a petrol station these are in Tullamore it's not far away uh, but the next nearest ones to me so if I select one you'll see immediately it will mark it on the map uh, and you're presented with a number of options. So you can click these little three arrows here to go to add to my places, use as a starting point, search near here or more information. So if you find a place, which I find really convenient, to be able to search near here. So you know there's a Tesco there, you want to find something around that Tesco. Or you can just click on the drive button, and take it from where you are to where Tesco's is right now, which you can see the map right there. Uh, I don't know what the Kaiki Pro is, but anyway, that's where I am and that's where Tesco's is at the moment. So. Uh, it also tells you right here that it's one kilometer away. I will reach there at 4, 449, it's currently 444. You arrive at your destination at 449 p.m. There you go. Uh, a little man comes on and tells you that. Funny enough, it's a bit of a split personality. The fellow that tells you that is not the same person who gives you the guidance throughout the drive, which is a woman with an Irish accent. Anyway, so what we'll do is, we will go on the drive and you can watch the sat nav do its thing, right? So now you see it's actually picking up that I'm in the car park and I'm just coming out onto Millbrook, which is right here in front of me. So I'm right in the middle of Port Leash, uh, and you can watch the sat nav now do its thing as I turn in. On the menus, it is actually telling me at the very bottom here my After current speed. Meters, turn left, then take the second right. It's telling me my current speed, which is 24 kilometers an hour. I am right in the middle of the town Turn center left, here, which is quite a, a built-up right. area. Pedestrian crossing right in front of me now, so I have to stop for that. 
Not a wild rod. You see the roundabout is ahead. Cross the roundabout. Second exit. Then turn right. So to go straight through this roundabout. The instructions are good and clear and prompt and in time, which I quite like. After 100 meters, turn right. Right. Here we are now turning right. Tesco's is right ahead of me. I know where I am, obviously. After 100 meters, cross the roundabout, second exit, then you have reached your destination. Now, what I'm going to do is pull into another car park here right beside Tesco's and just discuss what it's done throughout that drive. So I'll come to the end of this, see it's 50 meters from here. Now I could take this sat nav out and walk along with it as a walking direction because I can't actually drive to Tesco, so I might as well uh, be able to do that. I can zoom in and zoom out using those little tools on both sides and I can center it on me or look down as a top down view from where I am. Don't want to do any of that, just click drive and you see how fast that sat nav works out exactly where I want to go. And it's showing me further up the road up here it's actually showing me the roadworks and the traffic that's on those roadworks ahead of me. You can see the yellow line going into Dublin, the red line coming out, which is making very hard going for lads you there. Arrive at your destination at 5.25 p.m. And the same applies here. There's some traffic here and a build-up in Newbridge, but I'm going to be avoiding that going down around. See, it's avoiding the traffic. It's actually looping around the edge of Newbridge to come around and come back in that way. So overall, I really like the sat-nav. It really feels a substantial piece of equipment. It feels like something that I want to mind. It comes in a decent little carry case I can put away with. Uh, it comes with all the kit I need, including the thing to turn my 12 volt socket into two USB ports. I think the sat-nav is a really good long-term investment. If I was going for a long drive, if I was going for a European drive, or even if I was driving from here to Galway or somewhere like that, you'd want that in your front window because it's a lot better than even your phone on permanently. Plus the maps are updated all the time, which means unlike car sat navs, uh, which only update when you go to a dealership and even then it might cost you money, this is updated at all times. So you've always got the latest version of every map and you've always got traffic updates as well. So if you're in the market for a new sat nav with a lot of features and a large bright screen, then the TomTom Tom Go Premium might just be the one you need.